You long to hear the sizzle. The sizzle of a Roots Chris steak. The most magnificent corn-fed prime beef, broiled to perfection at 1,800 degrees. Some call it a sizzle. We call it an anthem. As the waiter approaches, you think, is this one mine or that one? Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at rootschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. Hello, CRN listeners. This is Michael Horn inviting you to join me and my co-host, Sommier Nicole Nielsen from Ruth's Chris Steakhouse as we present What's Cooking on Wine. Find out about the latest trends in wine, great food, spirits, and a whole lot more. It's What's Cooking on Wine, done live at 6 o'clock Monday nights at Roos Chris Steakhouse in Pasadena, California, and then the replays throughout the weekend right here on CRN. So if you love wine and you love great food, it's What's Cooking on Wine right here on CRN. Welcome to Divine Love Talk with Dr. Parthenia Grant, where we talk about health, well-being, and the love of the divine that exists in all of us. Now, here's your host, Dr. Parthenia Grant. Okay, I'm so delighted to have in studio today Janet Alston Jackson. We met in the most serendipitous way. You will never believe it. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but she, let me introduce her. She's the author of A Cry for Light, A Journey into Love. And today we will be discussing the importance of mindfulness and her training with the Heart Math Institute. Wow, that's an amazing uh, place. And their use of heart breathing to help parents deal with the inadequacy of our educational system, especially if you have a, a special needs child. And uh, I want to point out that this technique will also help anyone who is dealing with any type of stress in their life. Uh, Janet has facilitated self-empowerment workshops for a variety of um, companies and organizations, including major corporations, nonprofits, college students, Healthcare and law enforcement. That's a wide range mm-hmm. of workshops that you do. Now, also joining us, of course, is our regular Jose Munoz, um, who is the timekeeper for the new Tibetan Hopi uh, Mayan uh, Six Sun calendar. And um, he will be giving us the glyph for the day. And he'll also be doing a quick little reading on our guest, Janet. So, uh, Jose is. Uh, holding on. Kim Michaels will also be delivering his weekly message from the Ascended Masters. I apologize. I was on vacation last week and Dr. Sarah Larson was sitting in and uh, Kim Michaels was uh, holding on, but um, I understand that they did a rerun of one of the messages, but we do have a new one today from Kim Michaels, so hold on for that. Uh, Debbie, do we have uh, Nandi G? Okay, we don't have Nandi G, uh, but we've got enough for you coming up today. So let's open up. Uh, We'll get back with you, Janet, in a second, but let's open up with uh, Jose. Jose, are you there? Um, Debbie, do we have him? Okay, Jose, can you hear me? Hello? I'm I'm hearing some kind of uh, noise. Hello? Okay, um, well, Debbie's going to, Jose, Debbie's going to get to you in a second, and Debbie, let me know when we've got the line cleared up. Okay, so back to Janet. Um, don't you love uh, technology when it's good? It's very good. <laughs> yes, doesn't it? <laughs> Teach you to roll with the punches. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about, first of all, how we met, okay? Amazing, amazing. I, I just want to say you're like an angel in my life. It was amazing. I was going through this thing where I had bought we'll make sure we got the okay, we go. where okay. I had bought a, uh, some earrings and they were crystal earrings and they're really really special I thought you know and I was getting ready to do a training for the IRS so I trained with my husband Walter Jackson and we do most of the trainings together and I thought these earrings would be so special for them and uh, be, be, and I don't really get into clothes I'm not that type of labels person or whatever and so this was special for me and and I was putting them on in the car as my husband was walk, driving home. And all of a sudden, I it seemed like, honestly, Dr. Grant, it just jumped out of my hand. 
I could not find that earring. It didn't go out the car. It didn't leave out the One car. One of them just just, just flew out my hands, and my husband said, well, that's because it didn't like your energy. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I searched the car, and he helped me search the car at least about five or six times that night when we got home. I couldn't find it. So finally, it got to the point where I said, I'm just going to release it. I'm just going to give up on it. The next day is when I went to the workshop with uh, Abraham Hicks, and I saw this beautiful lady who was passing by me and saw this necklace on her. I said, that's a beautiful necklace. That's gorgeous. And it was you, of course. And you said, thank you. And we passed on. And the end of the workshop came. And I happened to run into you again as we're waiting for our car to get our ticket to, to, to leave out of there. And you were sitting down. And I said, now, you know you're supposed to give me that necklace. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up the story now. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> so so I, had, I had previously told her, I said, oh, it's a Kuan Yin. And Kuan Yin is just very special to me. And um, so is the necklace. Um, and so when she said that, um, the tradition where I come from in the South and what my mother taught me is if someone really loves or admires something that you have and you intuitively sense that that person is supposed to have that, then you're just supposed to give it to them. So my higher self, and it might have been the voice of my mother, it could have been Kuan Yin, <laughs> Uh, said to me, oh, give it to her. And and I went, no, I love this necklace. I don't know her. And who knows if she'll appreciate Kuan Yin. So I'm sitting there in my head arguing, you know, about with my higher self about whether I should give her the necklace. And then finally, um, I just went, oh, come on, give it to her. So... <laughs> The line wasn't moving, so I took the necklace off, and I, I uh, handed it to her, and so I'm going to pick it, give it back to you. Yeah, and it was amazing because it was not like costume jewelry. It's a semi-precious stones, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has uh, actually a jade um, Kuan, Kuan Yin, Yin and sitting so, on top of Jasper. Yeah, sitting on top of Jasper, and it was amazing. It was not like something out the dive store or whatever. <laughs> and I said, this is, this is expensive, you know? And I said, I couldn't believe it. And then a part of me that doesn't accept Didn't things, want to accept it. Right, you know, and that's the lesson for me to accept the abundancy as it comes in. Exactly. But I was amazed at my son who was with me, you know, he says, wow, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> and this has been a talk for what almost a week now in my house about this <laughs> necklace I laid it out <laughs> on the table just so I could see it back and forth and you told me you said put it out in the moonlight to the cleanse the energies and I thought no I didn't want to because I said that's whatever powerful energy you have of loving Aww, and well, giving of divine yes. love I said and then I found out the name of your talk show is divine love oh, yeah talk. of course and when I meditate that's what I meditate on divine love oh wow yeah so it it, it was just amazing connection, and I feel like we have been connected for, you know, lifetimes. <laughs> well, and clearly, clearly guided to each other because I would never have wanted to give my Kuan Yin necklace to someone who was not familiar mm -hmm. with the Divine Feminine and yes. how she manifests. And and yeah, I mean, she teacher. manifests as Isis, as Mother Mary, you yeah. know, the Virgin of Guadalupe. It, you know, just depends on what your belief system is, but yeah. there is the Divine Mother mm -hmm. energy. And so to find out this morning that you have, like, a big Kuan Yin statue. That my son who was with me at the yes. workshop had bought for me a few years ago. Isn't that you know? amazing? And then I have one, like I said, in my window. And when I'm washing dishes, I look at her as well. You know, so thank you, thank you, thank you. So <laughs> I, I think I think the moral of this story is that you always follow your intuitive hits because mm -hmm. every time I've not followed my intuition, that's when things have gone wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, Debbie, have have we fixed the problem with Jose? Okay, I'm thinking not. Okay, all right, so we'll just keep going. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, as soon as we get him back online, we'll bring him uh, up. Oh, he's, uh, Jose, are you there? Hello? He gave me the thumbs up. <laughs> Jose? All right. Jose? I heard something. Did you hear I anything? I heard something, too. No, no. Okay. All right. We're back. Okay. Well, they're working on it. Let's just say we're, <laughs> we're experiencing technical difficulties. But, um, Janet, do you find that in terms of the, the work that you do, um, that intuition is really, really important? Oh, absolutely. Because every, uh, like I said, I do the trainings with my husband, and every group 
is so different. Yes. And so you can't prepare for it. So you know, true. Are, you know, and then plus you don't want anything prepared. You want to talk to people, not mm-hmm. at people. Exactly. And so you really have to be in tune with preparing yourself spiritually and emotionally to connect with people yeah. through divine love. Yes. That's the love the, the is heart. what connects you with the heart. Exactly. Yeah. Well, which yeah. is what you got trained by the Heart Math Institute. And so what was the name of the training? Yeah, and it's tell resilience us training. So we're certified. My husband and I both are certified uh, resilience uh, uh, oh, coaches. Resilience training. Resilience coaches, yeah. yeah, which is for everyone from parents to sports to law enforcement to health care. Everyone's so stressed out nowadays. Well, well let, let's What's talk about the word resilience because okay. um, in my college classes, that's one of the, the things that um, I talked about often was the importance of resilience mm, yes. um, in in order to be able to succeed in life. And so I use this quote, um, and I believe, well, um, now I don't want to get the wrong author, but okay, mm-hmm. but uh, essentially the quote says that life breaks everyone, mm. but what matters is how you heal in the broken places, mm. and um, resilience is that ability to bounce back exactly. uh, from life's adversities, and what I find is that the people that get broken never really, really heal because they don't have the ability to bounce bounce back from life setbacks mm-hmm. and on planet earth that's all you're ever going to encounter right. is setbacks <laughs> exactly and if you don't have that ability to bounce back you are in big trouble exactly it's another saying too that comes to my mind it's not what happens in life that makes or breaks you is it how you accept it exactly but also the resilience is like thinking of it as our battery our inner mm-hmm. battery and things in life can drain us or yes. they can uh actually give us energy uh, depending on our thoughts and our emotions and that's what we train about too as well and mindfulness is also being aware of what we're thinking and our emotions because most of the time we just go you know we don't especially and we let our our crazy thoughts they're like wild horses they just lead us off a cliff exactly (laughs) or we're falling off the horse and we're dragged (laughs) behind it you know it's our mind I still have a horse dragging us right exactly and it's like the the east calls the monkey mind you know it's always we could never steal it and especially with the wonderful technology we have now it just sends us off into so many directions and every time we turn around our bank or our phones mm-hmm. are different. we got to learn something It's else. hard to focus. Exactly. It, it, there's too much stimuli going exactly. on, especially for young people with all yes. the technology. So uh, very quickly, tell people a little bit about the Heart Math Institute. It's a wonderful foundation. Yeah, it was uh, uh, created in 1991 by Dr. Uh, Doc Chaudhry, uh, rather, and um, they have scientists and doctors have come together to study what happens with the heart because the heart, people think, is just a blood pump Mm -hmm. but it's more than that and their research have studied uh brought up a lot of interesting facts that it actually our heart gives signals to our brain yes and it uh actually gives more signals to our brain than the other way around right and through that we are able to tap into our intuitive self yeah in fact they have um monitored or studied how much energy that the heart gives out mm-hmm. is electromagnetic energy yeah. and they found out that it um, radiates like 50 times more than the brain how about and that also uh, they've studied where it, they had um, actually technology to measure that it goes out like eight feet so where you're in a room and people feel that and, it, uh, and they were saying well they actually could not measure it more they think it goes out further well, than of that course. but that's the only limitation of, of, of their the technology, technology that they yeah. have and we know it as well we can come in a room and we feel oh this sure we yeah feel we people. feel people's energy there you go yeah exactly and I think like with the two of us I felt your open heart mm-hmm. and I've and never I shut sure. my heart down yeah. I mean, you know regardless of what has happened to me mm-hmm. and definitely I've had a hard knock life mm-hmm. um, but I've never allowed um, the darkness of others mm-hmm. to interfere with with my willingness to continue to let my light shine. And so I think that, uh, honestly, that's what I 
look for is mm-hmm. people whose hearts are open, and you see it in their eyes, you see it in their smile, mm-hmm. um, and and in the way that they interact with other people. And that what that I think is what was very very beautiful about you, mm-hmm. and that I was able to connect with is that heart feel. Um, we're getting ready to go into commercial break, but um, now when we come back from commercial break, we will be um, hearing from Kim Michaels and um, his message for the week from the Ascended Masters, and we'll be talking more with Janet Austin Jackson. What's the website? Sporting the Right Attitude. At sportingtherightattitude.com um, after Kim Michaels, and we'll talk more about mindfulness and uh, what you learned from the Heart Math Institute. So hang in there. We'll be back with more of Divine Love Talk on CRN. I'm your host, Dr. Parthenia Grant. Fall flooring season is on, and the Lumber Liquidators flooring experts can help you find the best deals on the hottest looks in flooring. Right now, we've got incredible deals on easy-to-install laminate engineered floors and more, like our thickest, beautiful acacia laminate for only 99 cents. Or get 10% off shown engineered pre-finished hardwood floors, plus Morning Star Natural Strand Bamboo for only $2.69. Or get gorgeous, solid, hand-scraped mahogany hardwood at 27% off with more amazing deals in your store. And 12-month special financing. Sales going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Got a lot on your to-do list? Now, during Kubota's Power to Do Great Things sales event, get a great deal on an L3301 or 3901 tractor with a live, continuous running rear PTO. Now, get financing as low as 0% APR for up to five years and great customer instant rebates when you buy a new L3301 or 3901 and two implements. Now through September 30th, 2015. Call toll-free 1-888-465-8268 for details about cost and terms. For more information and to find a participating dealer, visit Kubota.com. What's going on in the financial world? This is Larry Elder. First, China's economy is booming. Then it's busting. Stocks are up 1,000 points one week, down 1,000 the next. The U.S. economy is recovering. Then, oops, maybe back into recession. For most of us working folks just trying to plan a solid financial future, it all seems so complicated today. But I've got some good news. I just read a simple report that makes sense of today's upside-down world in just four pages, entitled, What's Next for the Dollar? That's right, just four pages of simple common sense. And best of all, it's free by calling 800-289-2646, 800-289-2646. Listen to your elder. If you have money to protect, you must read What's Next for the Dollar. Get your free copy today, 800 289 26 46 that's 800 289 26 46 or at swissamerica.com When you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Columbo's. Columbo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club. Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. Is that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you? Good afternoon, Mr. Phelps. Southern California is inundated with restaurants vying to vanquish Columbo's, and none have succeeded. Your mission, Jim, is to further enlighten the populace regarding Columbo's and their absolutely delicious steaks. Seafood so fresh it'll make you blush. Family Italian specialties that put the competition to shame. Jazz every night along with their world-renowned meatballs. The code words for this assignment, Mission Impossible Jewel. As always, should you or any of the force be caught, the second Secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions, but looks forward to seeing you at that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you, Columbo's. This desk will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Jim, and manja. Okay, we're back with our segment, uh, Message from the Ascended Masters, and um, we've got Kim Michaels. I am the Ascended Master, Mother Mary, and I come to continue the theme I have talked about previously of the relationship between men and women. It is a great tragedy that the conflict has been created between men and women. When you look at all of the warring that is going on on this planet, you might be confused and think that the cause is outside the home in big political issues. Yet I tell you 
that all warring and conflict starts in the home, in the relationship between the man and the woman, the father and the mother, which has such an influence on the children and the world view that they grow up with. You need to understand that if conflict and war is going to be stopped on this planet, part of the process is that men and women develop a new relationship, a new way to look at each other. Now, how could such a new relationship come about? Well, there are many people who over the last several decades have experimented with new ways of relating to each other beyond the traditional family structure. But I must tell you that there is no way to truly renew the relationship between men and women without having a spiritual understanding of who you are as a spiritual being. You also need to have an understanding of the history of what has been going on on this planet for thousands of years. You need to be aware that there is a force, a very aggressive, a very active, but also a very deceptive force that is seeking to create war and conflict on this planet. This force will use all means available to them, but the primary means is always deception. The primary means is to create some idea and get people to believe in it to the point where they never dare to question it. Where does the present relationship, the present conflict between men and women start? Well, it begins in the book of Genesis in the Old Testament, and it begins in several other creation myths found around the world. What does Genesis say? It essentially says that women are to blame for the fall of the entire human race. My beloved, this claim is an outright lie. It has nothing, absolutely nothing, to do with historical reality. But this claim that women are to blame and that women therefore deserve to be treated differently than men, is very old on this planet. It is very ingrained in the consciousness of many cultures, including your own, even though there are certainly cultures where it is even more predominant. If you are to have any chance of freeing yourself from this very old culture, there is only one way that you can do this, and it is to recognize the reality that you are not your physical body. You are more than the body, which means that regardless of the sex of your physical body, you are not a man or a woman. You are not a, an exclusively masculine or an exclu exclusively feminine being. You were created as a spiritual being that has both masculine and feminine qualities, which means that you can, over several lifetimes, embody in both male and female bodies. It is absolutely necessary to recognize this, and you can only come to fully accept this by following a very gradual path which we have called the spiritual path or the path to personal Christhood that allows you to reconnect to your true identity so that you not only understand intellectually but actually experience that you are a spiritual being that cannot be limited to any of the conditions and labels found on planet Earth. All right, <clears throat> that was pretty powerful, and I'm sure that it's probably going to outrage a lot of people out there in Christendom, uh, not uh, blaming women for the fall of man, but um, I absolutely would have to agree 
Um, we're going to come back with more of Divine Love Talk after commercial break. I'm your host, Dr. Parthenia Grant, and more of Janet Alston Jackson, where we'll be talking about Heart Math Institute and mindfulness. You're listening to Divine Love Talk on CRN. I'm your host, Dr. Parthenia Grant, and hopefully we'll be able to get Jose Munoz on um, after commercial break. Thank you for joining us. Located in the heart of Maui's premier resorts, Kanapali Beach Hotel is officially recognized as Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel and the number one best value in Hawaii. With a range of accommodations and affordable dining options, this is the ideal setting to turn Hawaiian dreams into lifelong memories. Live Hawaiian entertainment every evening, free year-round children's programs, weekly arts and crafts fairs, welcome breakfast, and departure Kukui Lei ceremonies add to the value. Swim in the whale-shaped pool, indulge in the fabulous spa and hotel salon. Enjoy Hawaiian hospitality at its best at the Ka'anapali Beach Hotel. Call 800-262-8450 or go to kbhmaui.com. That's kbhmaui.com. Aloha. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Mm -hmm. They found me a place for which she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now... Very confident that she's safe, and they just helped every step of the way, and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service, and you can trust them to help you. If you're struggling to find reliable senior living information for your mom or dad, then call or go online to get the free help you need during this turbulent time. Call now, 800-471-5173, 800-471-5173. Do you owe the IRS money? Do you have years of unfiled returns? Has the IRS garnished your wages or put a lien against your house? The IRS has the power to make you pay back what they claim you owe and will stop at nothing to collect. If you are losing sleep over your IRS tax problem, there is a solution. Call Signature Tax now. Speak with our professionals and feel the weight of your tax burden lifted from your shoulders. Call 800-543-1427 for your free and confidential analysis on ending your tax nightmare. We can help get your life back on track and give you the fresh start you deserve. Our A-plus BBB-rated tax resolution team has over 125 years of combined experience to get you the best deal possible while stopping the IRS dead in their tracks. Call Signature Tax now at 800-543-1427. Call 800-543-1427. Again, that's 800-543-1427. 800-543-1427. Andro 400, I really love it. I've lost 50 pounds. I was a size 38 waist. I've gone down to a 32 waist. My mood has changed. I, I don't get stressed out. It gave me so much more energy. It was like I'm 25. I'm so happy. I'm just a completely different man. Guys, if you'd like to see results like Dave Ryan's, try and Andro 400, the safe, inexpensive way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435, 888-400-0435. Let's Talk Rescue Radio. With your hosts, Christina Hackett and Chad Atkins, we will share the highs, lows, adventures, triumphs, and losses. Bring light to ways you can make a difference in your rescue community. In addition, we'll feature animals with medical needs and a couple looking for their forever homes. Join us every Saturday on CRN1 at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or call in to be part of the conversation at 818-353-1276. Now let's talk rescue. Okay, we're back with my love talk and my guest, Janet 
Alston Jackson. And um, I want to point out very quickly, we have a new VIP hotline, which is 818-352-7593 if you'd like to call in. Um, and Janet, you said that um, you are offering a special for listeners um, yes. of the show today. Yes. With um, mm -hmm. What's the product? Well, it's um, a home serenity kit my husband and I have put together, and it was incense and uh, wood incense holder and a CD with my mindfulness meditations as well as a mandala. And we're raising money because we always get calls from schools, from high-risk uh, schools that don't have budgets mm -hmm. for our training. So okay. um, we teach parents and um, youth meditation practices, so that goes for that. Lord knows yeah. we and need that off. in school. It's usually okay. like $31, and okay. this one is $15 just for your listeners, which okay. is uh, if they use the code on Amazon called uh, Love Talk. Yeah, so, you so if you go on our website to find it. Yeah, if you go to the Sporting website, which the right is what? Attitude. Sporting the Right Attitude, and yes. it's the Serenity Kit, right. and the code, the special code that is they would put in talk. is Love Talk. Right, okay. exactly. So it's a, a tab on, on the home page that says Products, okay. and you just scroll down to Home Serenity Kit. So put in the code Love Talk. <laughs> and until supplies last, you'll be able to get it for half price. I know Janet sent me the Serenity Kit, and my daughter, who hates incense, there's a stress incense. Stress it's relief. Stress relief right. incense, and it's really amazing. Um, I'm burning it every day in the house. And she said, oh, my, it really does relieve stress. So I can, I can tell you the kit is pretty amazing, and um, I'm very grateful. Thank you for that. My pleasure. In fact, I was going to ask her today, uh, how do I get some more of that? So now I know how to get it. <laughs> okay, so Janet, what did you think of that reading? Um, well, it's and Mother Mary. Yeah, well, uh, talking about the relationships of man and woman, and that's one of the things that uh, Walter, my husband, and I we do. We talk about relationships in our website. Uh, excuse me, in our workshop and teaching communication skills. Right. Because otherwise, you're left with these thoughts that you're to blame. Mm -hmm. Women are to blame of all of this, and men and, and the women think men are to blame. So yes. you're blaming both sides. It's each so, other. But when you understand their behavior styles and you use stress uh, techniques to release your stress and not yeah. project it onto the other right. person, you know, you become together. And we've been married about 36 years. Wow. And so um, <laughs> if we talk I about... I don't know anybody I my know. age group who's been married <laughs> that long. Exactly. But, it, but we use the tools that we okay. use in our workshop. <clears throat> we actually know our behavior styles. Right. And we talk but, but, about... But you also have a background with science of mind. Yes. And, and unity teachings, right. which, you know, what I love about those teachings um, is that they deal with the deep-rooted psychological issues. Mm -hmm. They don't just, like... Um, kind of skim over all of that. Yeah. Because if you're not dealing with that, then those wounds will keep coming up in a relationship. Exactly. And you're fighting about the same stuff over and over and over. Mm -hmm. But what I appreciated about what Mother Mary was saying is that right off the bat, when you look at that um, teaching, uh, in no matter what the religion is around the world, they all blame women for yes. the fall from grace. And so there's this deep-seated anger and resentment mm -hmm. against women that if that's not addressed in the relationships, you know, if the, if the man, you know, is subconsciously harboring that, then you're always going to have disharmony in the relationship. Yeah, and I think that's why we had lower pay over the years, mm -hmm. and then also this whole struggle with uh, Planned Parenthood and yes. the woman and uh, problems in the workplace and not uh, having maternity leave. Exactly. Before. So it, it, it it's still comes out real. another way. Yeah, it's, <laughs> st it's still yeah. real today. Yeah. And Very so I, I really appreciate Mother Mary um, bringing that up because mm -hmm. we need to heal that yes. within our ourselves, you know, the divine feminine within the woman and the male has, has that uh, part of himself that's feminine, that when you're oppressing a woman, you're literally oppressing yourself. Right. And so um, I think there's really, that's where we need to begin, mm -hmm. is healing the relationships between men and women. And as she said, then you can really help the children. Exactly. And that's what we talk about in uh, our, our workshops and our coaching, because we do private coaching as well. But when you recognize your feeling, and I know I was brought up in a family where from Chicago, a hardworking people, but my father passed away early, but he had asthma and diabetes, so we were always at the hospital. I was the only wow. child, but yeah. everything was... Um, 
focused on him pretty much. And so my feelings were shut down. When my mother, when he passed away, we moved to San Francisco, Los, Los Angeles and San Francisco. My mother remarried and my uh, stepfather was hardworking and wonderful guy, but he was a rageaholic. Oh, wow. And so he drank and mm-hmm. he was always uh, screaming and yelling. And so again, my feelings were suppressed. I didn't sure. want to feel. And that's right. what most people say, well, I don't want to get into my feelings. And that's how I was brought up and raised to shut down yes. those feelings. And so then from that, I got into the entertainment industry with uh, ABC and CBS's publicity. And then I was always like, the as a publicist, caretaking with oh, yeah. the, the yeah. actors who mm-hmm. a lot of them God bless them. Acting out children, of control. Out of control. <laughs> and so I became just like in my home. Yeah, doing the same thing. Doing the same thing. Yeah. And I didn't realize Trying to manage, that. you trying know, Trying to manage everything. Yeah. yeah. And then also with our three children, I traveled a lot back and forth. So, mm-hmm. again, uh, feelings were shut down. So I didn't understand until mindfulness and heart math that feelings can be like a doorbell. You know, you don't have to sit and analyze them and dissect them and whatever. They can just show you the way that you're thinking the wrong thoughts. Exactly. And uh, that's what we teach you right away when you feel that depression thoughts to tune in to what you're yes, feeling. Exactly. And you don't have to sit with this stuff. You know, you can do some heart breathing to release it. And all of a sudden, within 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you can change the direction. And people around you feel that calming energy. They say yeah. in, in mindfulness, uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, you know, Zen master. I said love that, him. Yeah, one person in the household practiced mindfulness and just aware of the thoughts. Then the, everybody in the household benefits. Oh, it's very true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he, he has this other beautiful saying that anything you do with mindfulness becomes a miracle. Yes, um, a miracle Just um, cleaning the house, mm-hmm. um, doing dishes. Yes. Um, I, that one quote really put me at peace with being able to do my housework yes. and not do it with resentment. Like, <laughs> oh my God, can I hurry up right. and get done right. with this? Yeah. I, it, you know, if I didn't have to do this, then I could be doing other things. Mm-hmm. And I just go into everything now as a mindfulness meditation. Mm-hmm. And I think if people can switch gears into that mm-hmm. the sort of thinking that it doesn't, you don't have to set aside time to be mindful. No. You can just be in them. And to me, my Mindfulness is being in the moment exactly. and mindful of the fact that you and I are sitting across from each other mm-hmm. and being fully present mm-hmm. with you right now in this moment. That is my concept of mindfulness. How do you wrap your head around that concept? And that's concept? the same thing. And, and I, I'm glad you brought it up when you said housework or whatever because I remember like um, Walt and I had tag team with the kids and he would uh, feed them. I'd fix the breakfast dinner in the morning and then he'd come home and heat it up and then I'd come home 7, 8 o'clock, you know, after getting on the 405 freeway mm-hmm. and be stressed out. But then I'm coming home using that time to whatever clean up or yeah. whatever – in, in the moment because exactly you want to hurry up and do things yeah but you can instead turn, of enjoying it exactly yeah. you can turn any repetitive uh, job into peace and serenity mm-hmm. and I had to learn that because I remember coming home one time and just sitting in a chair and I couldn't move I was like paralyzed in yeah. the chair you know from the stress and the frustration of everything but then I had to learn to release that by just paying attention to the moment uh, of my body, how it feels, and like you're saying, it's just washing dishes or whatever. It can become a very peaceful thing. Even when we're in the shower, most of us are not in the shower. Exactly. We're thinking about our day. We're thinking about what we did yesterday. But mm-hmm. just even taking a couple of seconds of mini vacations with mindfulness. Yeah. I agree. I, I like that concept of uh, mindfulness being a mini vacation. Yeah. Yeah, a mini yeah. vacation from stress. Yeah. Now, I did say that we were um, on, on my post that we were going to talk about um, your book and the um, your struggle with our educational system, mm-hmm. which, let's face it, it's broken and it needs a lot of work. Yeah. And so parents, especially parents with special needs kids, and even if you have a gifted kid, mm-hmm. it's, it's a challenge working Absolutely. within the system. Yeah. And I know as an educator, you know, and I did an early requ- retirement because of my frustration with higher education mm-hmm. and 
and um, the resistance to bringing in mindfulness, meditation, spirituality, um, healthy eating, just things that I think should just be basic, yes. you know, in any classroom. I mean, the resistance was so phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I just thought that there's no point in continuing to try to work in a system like this mm -hmm. where they don't want to integrate any form of whole, holistic type of learning, regardless of how much the students loved it and needed it. Exactly. Um, so I can imagine what you've gone through, and I mm -hmm. salute your courage in going into the schools and continually trying to bring this, yeah. um, these practices that we need, the children need exactly. them. Exactly. Well, we've trained uh, hundreds of, of teachers as well. Even in the uh, California State Prison, their educators wow. are trained them and as we well. And we need that. And, yeah, and the thing is, is that being able to really connect with yourself with mindfulness comes a whole classroom, right? you know, and I'm not saying that just from a parent. Oh, I know. I recently have been working with, um, uh, it actually it's called the Road to Success. It's two different detention centers for teenage girls who wow. are coming from gangs. Boy, and, do they need it. Yeah, and so I would come in the classroom at times and just mentally preparing myself beforehand uh, and just doing mindfulness, and you can see even their resistance of how they calm down. Oh, sure. These are some tough kids. They've been <laughs> on the, you know, some of the girls are 15 years old, had two kids already, oh, and no. they're angry. No, I, I've gone into the there male prison system in an anger management program okay. and lectured, so I know yes. how when resistance. you're centered mm -hmm. and you're bringing your light to them, they respond. Exactly. So people in the workplace, when you can use this, you can really see how people change. When you change your thoughts mm -hmm. and how you connect outside, people feel that because, again, we're going back to heart of, of the electromagnetic energy around your heart. People feel that. They don't know what they feel. but It's true. Yeah, you know. But, but Janet, have you noticed, okay, with, with the light, when, when you're radiating, you know, the light and love, mm -hmm. people will either embrace it mm -hmm. and they love it, or it hits them, you know, like a brick, and, yes. and they can't handle it. Right. Um, but yeah. have you noticed the, the sure. two different Definitely. responses to Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And I think that some people shut down when yeah. they feel that resistance, and that's actually a time for you to shine greater, you know, greater light, yeah. you know. And because you're not looking for them to transform, but right. just looking for your peace and serenity that you're not going to let this person or that person deter you from that feeling of wellness yeah. that actually is happens to deal with everything in your body from mm -hmm. your chemical imbalances to hormones to arthritis to to panic attacks anxiety that's what i love about heart math they're doing all these studies oh, and yeah. seeing the difference of people changing their training uh 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 military with PTSD, yeah. they're training the, the first responders, and they're seeing a drastic difference of how they respond and how their bodies respond, especially sports guys. Yeah. People with sports, they know it. My husband used to um, got an award for um, a Hall of Fame for African American Hall of Fame, and he's a big sports person. He was always an athlete. And What, what kind of sport? He, everything. He, he played, um, actually it was... Uh, football, basketball. He was the only one in high school that played all four sports and he got into a really severe accident where he was <clears> in a coma, which he talks about in our okay. trainings. And it shows how you can, resilience, you bounce back from yeah. those types of things. But uh, actually, any of the things we deal with, we're using the heart and it's so important that we are in mindfulness. Well, well one, one of the things I want to point out that I learned from heart math mm -hmm. is um, the heart actually um, has a brain and yes. it has little neurotransmitters mm -hmm. that it sends out and the signal actually hits the heart first and not the brain. We thought mm -hmm. it was the brain first, no. but it's the uh -huh. other way around. Exactly. And and the heart is also the, the seat of the soul and that's where I, I would call it my I am present or my God self, you know, resides is within the heart. And when you look at how many people whose hearts are shut down, but the thing I learned the most from heart math was that when you hate someone mm -hmm. or you fear them or you're angry or you have any kind of negative emotion, the heart will produce cortisol because it understands that we're all connected. Yes. And so if I am looking at you, Janet, and I'm saying, oh, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, my heart is saying, Oh, so you hate yourself too, huh? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it's going to produce cortisol and it's going to attack my system. Yes. So the heart 
has this um, much higher understanding of the connectivity of mm -hmm. all of us and that if I send out anything that harms another person, then I'm really harming myself and I'm making myself sick. That's the reason why we, we only want to send out good yes. in the universe mm -hmm. and that's why we want to forgive. And I think that's, do you find that that's a really, really hard concept? It's so simple to me for yeah. most people to get? Well, you know, uh, studying that, and thank you for bringing that up about cortisol, because uh, it is the stress hormone yeah. in the body. And when we are constantly in stress, yeah. it gives too much uh, hormones, um, this secretes this cortisol in our body. But then when we are in appreciation and love, yes. the DHEA now mm -hmm. comes in another hormone that calms us down and balances it. And people are trying to buy that now. Uh, yeah, and, you, you can. Know, <laughs> but your body <laughs> manufactures that uh, naturally with if the... You're not all stressed out, exactly. right? It's a natural hormone. Feel That's good the best hormone, hormone, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the feel good hormone, exactly. One reason to de stress: get your little de stress kit yes. and and just <laughs> own, and you own. know, just it chill. comes from inside. And that's why we have a blog called "Your Happiness Within." What we talk about. Yeah, I love your blog. I want to say that yeah. you such incredible writing, um, and you do that every week, right? A new uh, blog or something. Pretty much. <laughs> we try, but uh, yeah, and we put it out in a book called "Your Happiness." Oh, well, you want to check that book out as well. And Sporting the Right Attitude, you're listening to Divine Love Talk with uh, Janet Austin Jackson as my guest. And I'm Dr. Parthenia Grant. We'll be back with more after commercial break. Um, and you might want to uh, oh, remember the code is Divine Love. Uh, if you love to talk. Oh, I'm sorry, Love, love Talk. talk. Okay, if you um, go to Sporting the Right, to sporting attitude, the right attitude, you'll see products. And okay. You get the, uh, and the code syringe. is Love Talk? Love Talk is the code for half off. Thank you. <laughs> What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a non organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. CRN listeners, when you come to Southern California, stop by a great restaurant, the Dresden Restaurant at 1760 North Vermont Avenue in Hollywood. Enjoy great entertainment, like the music of the legendary Marty and Elaine at the world-famous Dresden Restaurant. The Dresden was a location for the making of the movie Swingers. Now you can swing with stars Marty and Elaine. Plus, enjoy great food, too, like French onion soup, artichoke hearts, and many other great appetizers. Seafood? There's salmon, shrimp scampi, New Zealand orange ruffy, halibut, Lake Superior whitefish, and specialties like veal marsala, piccata, and parmigiana. Plus, we've got a great roast rack of lamb, chicken piccata, and cordon bleu, and pasta dishes, too. Steaks? Filet. New York, Chateaubriand for two. Much more, too, including pork chops, prime rib of beef, and an incredibly extra large cut of prime rib. It's the Dresden Restaurant, open for lunch Monday through Saturday and dinner Monday through Sunday. Check us out at 1760 North Vermont Avenue or call 323-665-4294. Do you owe the IRS money? Do you have years of unfiled returns? Has the IRS garnished your wages or put a lien against your house? The IRS has the power to make you pay back what they claim you owe and will stop at nothing to collect. If you are losing sleep over your IRS tax problem, there is a solution. Call Signature Tax now. Speak with our professionals and feel the weight of your tax burden lifted from your shoulders. Call 800-543-1427 for your free and confidential analysis on ending your tax nightmare. We can help get your life back on track and give you the fresh start you deserve. 
Our A-plus BBB rated tax resolution team has over 125 years of combined experience to get you the best deal possible while stopping the IRS dead in their tracks. Call Signature Tax now at 800-543-1427. Call 800-543-1427. Again, that's 800-543-1427. 800-543-1427. Okay, we're back wrapping this up um, with Diane. I'm Diane, I'm sorry. Janet Alston Jackson. Uh, we're talking about the Heart Math Institute and the training that you did. So now, are you incorporating that training um, into your workshops? We do coaching, um, personal coaching, and then we use a couple of the um, techniques that we can do one now. Okay, <laughs> yes, please, okay. help me out. <laughs> so um, if you can just um, close your eyes. Okay. And just imagine... Your breathing, your breath okay. is coming in through your heart. You can put your hand where your heart is over okay. your chest. And just breathe in and imagine the breath coming in. You breathe a little bit deeper than normal, a little bit slower, and see the breath going out. Coming into your heart and exiting out of your heart. Now bring in an appreciation, someone or something or a pet, and feel the energy of the appreciation of whatever you're thinking about. Now feel it, not just think about it, but feel what that feels like in your body, appreciation for anything. (laughs) Breathe that into your heart. See it exiting out. And just allowing that energy to come in and surround you. And so that's the technique you can use whenever you're stressed out. That's pretty quick. Actually, to help you go to sleep at night. Yeah. I actually so got off appreciation. Appreciation. Yeah. I got off high blood pressure medicine. That <laughs> I have had We're high blood pressure crazy. since 20 years old. But um, I found, and we all know about gratitude. Oh, yeah. But gratitude sometimes can be heavy sometimes. Oh, when you sure. think about a spouse. It's oh, or you feel, for you. It's you like, feel obligated. Exactly. Or yeah. You think, well, they should be grateful for me. But when you have appreciation, <laughs> it's like a light energy yeah. and I bring in my puppy oh, dog, of course. You know, and, just and, and that's that what energy. I thought about yes, yes exactly they're just unconditional love right 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 and, and I highly recommend that people who don't have pets get you one even if it's just a little bird you know they found that people in um, uh, convalescent homes that they get that they heal a lot faster yes. when they bring the little birds in right um, and I volunteer with them a docent with LA Zoo and I take small animals to senior homes right? rehab and I love it with right kids with uh, out arms or legs mm-hmm. and they touch they're able with their little arms that are they're cut off from burns or whatever yeah. they light up Right. And seniors will speak where they have not spoken for exactly. a couple of years when they put up when we put a rabbit next to them. You know, <laughs> it's so true. Yes. Um, I, I have this little two pound Chihuahua, and she dresses. She has a <laughs> bigger wardrobe up. than me, um, <laughs> and and she just struts, you know, down the street. And and a lot of these little old ladies that just have this real mean look on their face when I'm by myself and I have her, they just light up. Um, so it's it's so adorable. Wow, that went fast. Are we already? Um, okay, we're sounding off. So check out uh, Janet Alston Jackson at Sporting the Right Attitude. And Janet, thank you so much for coming in studio pleasure. and joining us today. And thank you for my necklace. Oh, and, and it <laughs> and looks so friendship. beautiful on you. And, <laughs> and you have on my favorite color, orange. <laughs> you know, it fits perfectly. So I'm sure that from that one little incident, you and I are going to be lifelong friends. It was just we're meant for us connected. to reconnect. Right. It's, it's like we're old sisters. Yeah, like you know. I said, many lifetimes we've been together. <laughs> I think so. Yes. I do believe yeah. that. Um, and thank you all for joining us. And um, check out um, Divine Love Talk on Facebook and like us there. And we'll be back next week with Kim Michaels with another reading from um, the Ascended Masters. Um, this is Dr. Parthenia Grant, and um, I am the host of Divine Love Talk on CRN.
Enjoying all your favorite CRN programming is easier than ever. It's